In this lesson, we'll learn about working with Slide Master. Slide Master View is a special feature in PowerPoint that allows you to quickly modify the slides and slide layouts in your presentation. From there, you can edit the Slide Master, which will affect every slide in the presentation. You can also modify individual slide layouts, which will change any slides using those particular layouts. So on our screen, we have a blank presentation. There's only one slide and no information has been added yet. What we're going to do is we're going to click the View tab and we're going to choose under the Master Views group, we're going to choose the Slide Master. This will open up a new view and give you a new ribbon called Slide Master Ribbon. You still have access to your main ribbon tabs here, so we could click to the Home tab and then click back to the Slide Master tab. And we have many different options that we can utilize within Slide Master View. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up to the top and take a look at what's here under the number one symbol. We've got a slide that says click to edit master title style. This is your slide master. Anything that you do to change the look of this slide master will automatically be applied to every slide in your presentation. And then each of these individual slides underneath the slide master is a slide layout. So we have many different slide layouts that are available as a default. And the first one here is the title slide layout. The second one, as you hover over it, is called the title and content layout. This one is the section header layout. We've got a two content layout and so on. So you can have as many layouts as you need to be able to create your presentation. Now you'll notice, I'm going to click close master view for just a moment. You'll notice that we only have one slide in our presentation, but if we click the layout, we have many different layouts that we can apply to any single slide within our presentation. So this is the title slide. It has the title slide layout, but if we were to change this, we could change this to the two content layout and now that layout style is applied to slide number one. Let's go back to view and slide master. And so now when we selected that two content layout, this is where it was coming from, the two content layout. And then as we hover over it, it says that it's used by one slide in the presentation. If you hover over another area, it says this one is used by no slides in the presentation. So let's scroll up to the top and choose the office theme slide master. And we're going to make a couple of changes that will affect our entire presentation. First thing we're going to do is choose a background style. So let's say we want this style number seven. And you can see that that automatically applied to all of the layouts in the presentation. We can change the font styles. So let's say we click into this box and click the Home tab, and we can see that the font within our selection is the Calibri Light font and size 44. Let's say we want to change that to Arial style font, and we're going to make it a little bigger. We're going to make it size 54. And so any part of your presentation that uses a title will now be Arial size 60. And you can do the same thing with your bulleted text. So let's highlight the bulleted text in the content area here. And let's say that we don't want those to be bullets. We want to change those to checkboxes. So now as a default, any of the slides that have bullets will now have checkboxes. Okay, so now any changes that have been applied have automatically been saved. We're going to go ahead and click Close Master View. And you'll see that the one slide that we have in our presentation has changed format to the changes that we applied to our slide master. And if we click in here in the title and type My Slide, and click in the bulleted areas and say step one, 
step two, we can see that we have the checkboxes applied to our bulleted pieces of information. As we insert new slides, any new slide that we add will also have those features applied to them that we changed in the SlideMaster. And that concludes our lesson on working with SlideMaster.